Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Stu, and today we're playing Amber's World, part 34 of the VJ Scenario Pack. A Wonderland dream style park is ideal for guests from everywhere, but if the loan isn't paid back, this park may crumble. Your objective to repay a loan and achieve a park value of at least 575,000. Okay, so what's the loan? 255,000. Quarter of a million. Wow. So the interest on that loan is going to be. I don't know, thousand, two thousand a month, something like that. Okay, so a lot of garish scenery around the place. Huge corkscrew tucked away at the back. Right, let's let's go through it. Let's see what we got. We've got free entries. We're charging for the rides. That will make things easier. Um, we have got no transport rides. Good selection of gentle rides some coasters um a couple of thrill rides water rides a couple um and not a bad selection of shops to begin with so i think what we're going to do we'll put our research into thrill rides now this is a park value scenario so what we really need for this is high stat rides but we also need to pay off that loan and it is a pretty big loan so having this complicated path system isn't very good because guests are just going to get lost and stuck and whilst we don't really care about a rating we do care about the money so having all the guests concentrated into one area at least to begin with makes more sense um because if they're wandering down some path in the middle of nowhere then they're not spending money so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna use no entry signs so what i'll do is I'll, I'll pop pop a sign down like that use it as a no entry sign there you go guests can't go that way i'll do that on a few other junctions down there same this side bring them all back to this main this little path loop here i am going to simplify it because it's a bit sort of well it's, it's not it's not a nice square so we'll get it back to like a nice square make it easier for the guests uh, i'll probably sell all the rides get rid of the the funky scenery and um put down a couple of profit coasters now ideally you want to have unique rides because every time you you double up on a on a, on a ride type you are going to get a penalty each of those rides is only going to add 75 percent of the value it would have added but um still if you've got two it's still worth more than one so even if it has got a penalty so yeah i'm just going to crack on and uh we'll see how we do october year one it's raining so we're going to benefit from all the umbrella cash um so i've got my basic path just there so all the guests that are now in the in the park are in this little one area so that they can some of them aren't going on rides because it's raining but when it does stop raining they will all go on these rides here so we've got some cool rides in the middle enterprise and rotor drops those are good for park value and with these sorts of rides that you can alter like on the enterprise even a merry-go-round if you alter the number of rotations or swings if it's a pirate ship then you will get slightly higher stats and stats make that park value so you want them as high as possible um so a couple of cutback corkscrews here these are going to be my profit coasters got them down to a fiver now but um, i was charging 10 pound to begin with it's always good as well maybe at the end of the year or something just to quickly check your profit make sure everything's making profit especially on a map like this when we need to pay back a huge loan um it was 255,000. now it's down to 219 um so have a look at that loan interest was 1500 per month so we, we, we've taken that down now to 1300 a month just by paying some back um yeah a couple of pirate ships down the bottom i know i did mention about the penalty but they always look cooler i think when uh when they're built in pairs and they will make us a decent lot of cash and um, also help attract guests to the parks so we want the guests to come into the park and then when they're in the park they can spend their money on the high the high price rides like the go karts and, and the roller coasters that we are going to build so yeah value 125,000. That's not really an issue at the moment because the main thing we need to do is generate a lot of cash. So we've got 
up to six thousand a month on ticket sales so that's pretty cool because so you know we are getting some profit and we are going to get a lot more as we build a lot more rides october year two and i've built a path loop around the lake there added circus they're never that popular but well it'll give guests something to do we can make it free at some point so even guests that haven't got any cash can go in there um and um guest numbers do add a slight value to the park i think it's something like three pound per guest or something like that so if you've got a, a, a thousand guests you're gonna get like an extra three thousand park value it's not much but you never know it could make or break um river rapids just there it's just a shame that the intensity and the nausea are so low on that ride would be cooler if there was a bit higher and then just over here then we've got junior coaster just there no there you go five five for the excitement five for the intensity so that's pretty cool with some of the coaster designs that i'll be doing i will be doing some sort of some designs that i might not normally do and that would be simply so that i can generate higher intensity and higher nausea for the extra park value so i'm currently researching shops we've we've researched all of the thrill rides um so i'm going to research shops for a little bit and then we'll um we'll start researching roller coasters because we don't want to build too many too quickly because what happens is at the end of each year um the 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 rides depreciate in value so you are at a constant constant uphill battle uh park value wise 165,000 and the loan now is down to 180,000 we're generating 10,000 a month on entrance on uh, ride tickets so we are paying it back quite a bit quite a chunk every month oh boy the heartline twister coaster everyone's favorite ride just unlocked um okay so my plan all along was to interact something with the junior coaster now this twister it's a very simple design but then that's all it needs to be you don't need to do anything too extravagant on a map like this on a scenario like this so this is bumblebee nice excitement high intensity nausea could be higher but oh well so we're generating a lot of cash from that and we've got the the laps cranked up to generate that extra intensity as well um we could we could generate we could probably up as high on the max number of laps which is i think seven i think and uh, see how that affects the the park value it might mean that the guests won't go on it but it might give us more park value but that's kind of a bit cheesy but uh who knows sometimes you've got to resort to those tactics bit of scenery putting down there and then over here then we've got a mini coaster so it just drops you out down around the bend and then back up a chain lift and another little drop and then back to the station so a cool little design decent excitement on that for what it is yeah so i've got a nice little path loop built now so that gives me more space to build i think down here is going to be a good good place to build so um we are researching coasters now so it's time to start rolling them out we've got 250,000 park value which is just under half what we need and the loan now is down to 122,000 which is half of what we started at um 12,000 a month in ride tickets so we are making a ton of cash october year four got a few new coasters and rides that we've built i'll go for the main additions we've got just here impulse coaster decent stats on that again cranked up the laps we could go a bit higher see how that affects it um but for now we're mainly concentrating on on profit so and then wild mouse here probably not the highest stat rider could have i could have uh, highest stat design i could have gone for rat race i know i use that that name a lot but um alliteration is always awesome and then we've got a mobius vertical drop coaster just down here decent massive stats there um maybe we can get that a bit higher with some uh, interactions with another coaster so 
as I said, we're going for some designs that we probably normally wouldn't do, but we the point of this is to generate high stats. So it'll be going through the loops a lot quicker than what I normally would do. But um stats make money, stats make park value. Deals pretty well, and um, right time, identical right time, 51 seconds. That was more luck than judgment, really. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this for this year. I'm uh, obviously I'm spending a bit more time doing the scenery, so that's sort of counting against us. But um, all in all, we're doing all right. September year five, but you didn't think we'd see a September. Yeah, we've gone a bit early this this time because I'd already finished the last coaster that I was going to build this year, and I thought let's just get the wrap up or the 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 summary out of the way so we can we've got more time building. So we've got a looping coaster just here, a couple of loops and an interaction with itself there. Decent stats. And then suspended swinging coaster just here. Um, so some of these bends I might not normally do. Um, I did try one of them as a much the I think it's this bend. Now I did go a tight. I did use a tighter bend, but um, the intensity came back way too high, so I had to um, had to widen it slightly so it. Uh, it wasn't too intense. Dodgems there and a powered mine train just there. Decent stats on that. So with these, you don't want to have too many elevation changes. Otherwise, it just slows it down. And you want to just sort of, you don't really need drops or anything. You just need to have just a long enough track. And then just add some turns and things to make it more exciting. And a little interaction with the vertical drop. Let's take it up to a nice 10 excitement. So that's now easily the highest stat coaster in the park. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do now is just, I am just going to crack on with building. We're up to 430,000. Um, so I think the next time I check in now will be after we've passed the value. We've got the loan down to 1,000. So I've kept it at a thousand rather than paying it off completely. That way we can't accidentally complete the game without without recording. So yeah, let's crack on. September year six. I'm gonna put it on pause a second. Park value 582,000. So we've beaten the goal so far. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pay off the loan and then once it registers that we've completed it um i can go about showing you what we've done in the last year um i have already done this i have already completed this um because the first time I, I recorded it uh the file was corrupt so it didn't work so it doesn't let me put my name in but we're going to pretend anyway St Ooh, there you go cool guess loving it anyway as if it's the first time um okay so what did we do then the last year so i put down another corkscrew there because we've already gotten a penalty for it so um put that down a nice uh reverse reverse chain lift shuttle there uh we've got a wooden coaster just up here drops you down long chain lift again as i keep mentioning a design that i probably normally wouldn't do but we want nice high stats and that certainly has got nice high stats. What about this one? Didn't show you those. Decent stats on there. Nice, nice intensity. Um, and probably my favorite coaster that I've built is this stand up here. So I wanted to do the little barrel roll, but then that meant I was a bit constrained with the height of the chain lift. So, um, but it works really well. And maybe it's not as intense as i'd like it to be considering it's a park value map 
but the actual design of it i think it flows really well so we've got a dive loop there and then we've got a bow tie there interaction with the chain lift back around corkscrew and finished cool i stand this stand up decent sevens on there so we were we were still even after this we, we were still a bit short on the park value um i saved the track design on the twister um the corkscrews i tried to do it with the impulse coaster but i just couldn't get it to i just couldn't get it to fit back down because when you when you rebuild them new you do get um the initial park value because it has depreciated over time um and then even after that we were still a bit short and you know what i was getting a bit i was getting a bit fed up to be honest i really enjoyed this scenario it has been pretty cool the last one was trash this one's been pretty cool but it's just such a a high value goal that and we don't have many more unique coasters left like i haven't built a hyper twister um i haven't built the bobsleigh i haven't built the heartline i haven't built them i hate them they look horrible i haven't built that so we do have some that i haven't built but i just thought do you know what we're going to get to the point where we're just constantly rebuilding or just to try and get that value so what i did was i just hid a couple of little rotor drops down the bottom there out of view um and then that enabled us to go over the over the target and complete it but you know what i've had fun playing with it and um hopefully you've enjoyed watching me build so this was amber's world part 34 of the vj scenario pack i've been Stu. hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>